hi guys welcome to my channel my name is promoted sandra if this is the first time you're seeing this beautiful face hi if you're returning the subscriber thank you very much for coming so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to sew this beautiful gown <laughs> yeah so i already have the drafting tutorial up there and the cutting tutorial on my channel so i'm going to be showing you guys in today's video how to sew this beautiful dress and this is a straight gown with a peplum sleeve, two-step peplum sleeve, and also with the collar. If you'll be watching me and you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Amaka why? Bless you. So if you want to see more tutorials on this channel, do want to subscribe, turn up post notification, and also share with your friends and your loved ones. If there's anyone on any social media platform looking for how to care and sew, don't forget to share my platform with them. And also follow me up on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok at promoted sandra okay just search for promoted sandra you will see me on instagram official promoted sandra and i have a lot of tutorials coming up soon guys don't forget to stay tuned stay well stay blessed so without further ado let us dive into this video <laughs> So I've gone ahead to cut out the lining for each pieces as you can see. This is the lining for the skirt, for the uh, peplum and also for the top. Okay. So what I did is for the lining, I went ahead to minus one inch from the downside. So the Ankara is longer than the lining. So what I'm going to be doing now is to go ahead and open up the skirts. Okay. The front side of the skirt. I'll go ahead and open it up. So this is the right side. I'll go ahead and place a lining on the right side. That is the front of the Ankara. I'll go ahead and shift the lining down like this. I will go ahead and pin it at the down. This is the down part. I'll go ahead and pin it using my office pin after pinning it i will take it to the sewing machine and sew it with half an inch like this so i'm going to be showing you guys when i'm sewing it once i'm done sewing it i will come to the waistline i will shift it i will use my hand to adjust it and sew it from the with i will sew it with half an inch from the start to the end okay so i'm just going to go ahead and keep that aside so this is the peplum i'm also going to go ahead and open up the peplum like this this is the right side of the peplum i'll go ahead and place the lining on the right side so for this peplum you're going to see that i went ahead to open it up i didn't show you guys in the cutting tutorial so i went ahead to open it up at the um side that has the lower side or that has the smaller side i hope you guys understand what i'm saying so i went ahead to open it up so i'm going to take it to the same machine and sew it like this with half an inch i will sew this other side then i'll go ahead and sew it round like this okay so that is what i'm going to be doing for every single pieces including the front this is the front i will place the lining on the right side so definitely you are going to be placing your lining on all the right side then we sew the sides like this the two sides okay so let us pack everything and go straight to the sewing machine and start sewing it immediately so this is me sewing it already so i'm currently sewing the skirt part so i'm sewing the down as i earlier explained I went ahead to make the waistline of the lining at the Ankara in core. Then I went ahead to sew it with half an inch. So after sewing this side, I'll go ahead and sew the other side. It's very easy. So after sewing the skirt, I'll go ahead and sew the back. Okay, the same thing I did for the front of the skirt is what I'm going to be doing for the back. So after that, I went ahead to sew the two sides of the top. Okay, this is the front side of the top, which we are going to be joining to the skirt. I went ahead to um turn it out after turning it out i'll use my hands to maintain it and make it equal then i'll go ahead and sew the armhole sew the armhole together just to avoid shifting and all that so if you're a beginner i advise you go and iron it so that it will be smooth okay, i went ahead to sew the neckline as well so go ahead and iron it for sewing it i'll do the same thing for the back side as well so i'll go ahead and start sewing the peplum as i explained to you guys earlier after sewing it around i'll go ahead and sew the opening like this okay with half an inch i will sew the other side like this with half an inch i will do the same thing for the rest peplum so what i do for one is what i do for all after sewing it i'll go ahead and turn it at go ahead and iron it after ironing it you go ahead and top stitch on it like this okay so once I was done sewing it, this is how it looked like. As you can see, I went ahead to top stitch on it after 
toning it after ironing it so this is the bigger part and this is the smaller part can you see how beautiful neat and clean this is so i'm going to be placing these two together like this so this is the front part I want to, to fold it into two i iron the center like this after ironing the center i want to, to fold it into two again to iron nipple to nipple measurement which is four inches okay i want to go ahead and iron it that is where i'm going to be running my dart so for the back i did the same thing i fold in one inch for zip allowance then four inch for nipple to nipple measurement go ahead and iron your dart both for the front and the back so that sewing it will be very easy and neat okay the same thing i did for the top part of the skirt is what i also did for the skirt part i went ahead to fold it into two to iron the center they are folded in my dart which is four inches the same thing i did for the back part is what i did for the back part of the skirt i folded in one inch zipper allowance and four inch dart okay so do the same thing so that when you are done sewing it the dart for the skirt part and the top will be equal now i'm going to measure where my dart is going to stop from my waistline so from my waistline i will measure six inches downward then i will sew it with half an inch that is for the back i will also do the same thing for the front i will mark from the waistline i will mark six inches then i will sew it with half an inch then for the back part of this gown which is the top i will measure from the shoulder to my bust point which is 10 inches i will minus one inch upward which is going to give me nine inches so from the shoulder to where i marked is nine inches i will come to the waistline i will mark half an inch inward then I'll go ahead and use my chalk to draw a slant line to meet up with that half an inch okay so i'll take to the same machine and sew it like that This is the front i'll go ahead and fold, measure from the top to my bust point that bust point i will also come down by half inch which is going to give me 10 and half so my bust point is 10 inches i came down by half inch which gave me 10 and half i will go in by half an inch for the down then i will mark a slant line i'll go ahead and sew it so for the back i went up from my bust point by one inch while for the front i came down by half an inch to mark the dart so that is the difference then the next thing is to go ahead and place the smaller part of this peplum on the bigger part like this i will go ahead and pin it down using my office pin so once i was done pinning it i will take it to the same machine and sew it with half an inch so i'm currently doing the same thing for the other side i will just go ahead and sew it with half an inch like this so that is basically all i've gone ahead to sew it this is it i've gone ahead to sew the dart and i've also gone ahead to sew the dart for the skirt this is how it look so what i'm going to be doing now is to go ahead and sew the upper part and the down part together so make sure your darts are both meeting each other both for the up and the down side so i'll go ahead and flip it over then pin it just like as you can see me doing so once i was done pinning it i will take it to the same machine and sew it with half an inch so what i do for the front is what i'm also going to be doing for the back so this is the back i will make sure the darts are meeting each other then i'll go ahead and pin it so before pinning it go ahead and open it go ahead and open up your uh zipper allowance that you folded in so i'll go ahead and open it up then sew it with half an inch i will do the same thing for the other side so i'm done sewing it this is how it look like this is how beautiful cute and nice it is you can see the darts are both meeting each other so this is the front i'll go ahead and take the gun measurements okay so from the shoulder i will measure it to the end part which is 50 inches so my gun length is 50 inches so i'm going to go ahead and place the back side together like this so the half length is going to be meeting each other go ahead and pin it pin it up and pin it down just make sure the right side is facing the right side pin it together before facing my zip i will measure the length which i want my zip to get to which is 22 inches so i want to measure 22 inches then from that point i marked i will measure level inches downward okay i will just mark a point there then i will take it to the sewing machine and sew on the line that i that i ironed okay i will sew on this line that i ironed remember there's a gator there i will end it here 
there is this line so after that i will go ahead and attach my zip but before then i'll go ahead and sew it so i'm done sewing it i'll go ahead and remove the pins i'm done sewing it this is how it look like okay so the next thing now is for me to fix the zip on it and sew it So after facing the zip, this is how it looks like. I've gone ahead to sew it. It's very easy. Just go ahead and fix your zip, okay? So this is beautiful. So after sewing the zip, the next thing I'm going to be doing now is to place the front on the back side. I'll go ahead and stitch the shoulder together before taking my body measurement. So I'll take it to the same machine and sew it with half an inch. I will stitch the shoulder the shoulder together so after stitching it i'll go ahead and start pinning it like this the two sides are going to be equal if your uh, measurements are accurate to be equal remember i added one and a half inch sewing allowance so i'll go ahead and minus that one and a half inch on both sides then i will come to the uh, hip line to get my hip length from the waist i will measure ten and a half inch i will also measure it on the other side i will just mark a bold line there so that i'll be able to know where my hip is so i will measure I'll minus one and a half inch from the hip because that is the total measurement uh, allowance measurement I added. So I will come to the full length. That is the gun length. I will minus two inches for my hip measurement. My hip is forty four. I will minus two inches, which is going to give me forty two. I will divide it into two. So that two, I will measure the downside like this. After taking the down measurement, whatever that is left, I will minus it. Okay. So it's very easy. Minus two inches from your hip measurement so after that i will use my french cuff to connect it i use my street ruler to connect the end part so just go ahead and connect it like this it's very easy anything you don't understand let me know at the comment section i will definitely respond so i will take the same machine and sew it like this i will sew where i chalked okay so i've gone ahead to sew it the next thing i'm going to be doing now is to go ahead and attach the collar on the dress so this is the type of collar you guys have been waiting for to know how to make so let me shock you the collar on this dress is known as the red made collar so for you to get it you need to go to the market and look for it so i went to the market to look for the red meat color this is the type i saw this particular one on this video is the one i saw so i also went to another place i saw the exact type on this dress on the pink dress so the color was too expensive it was sold for four thousand naira. so i went home to create my own color on this dress if you are interested in knowing how i made the color on this dress then keep up watching but if you want to make use of the type on that dress you can go to the market and look for it all you just need to do is go to the market uh with the picture and ask them you are going to see it but it's really really expensive so i'm just going to go ahead and open up the zip of my dress once i was done i'll go ahead and fold it into two like this just watch out how i am folding it so i'm going to go ahead and measure from the zipper to the center front like this so the total measurement i have is nine inches okay so i'm going to go ahead and add half inch to that nine inch which is going to give me nine and a half so this is going to be serving as the center back this side why this side is going to be serving as the center front so i'm going to go ahead and place my tape like this i measure nine and a half inch remember i added half inch as a sewing allowance so i'll measure nine and a half like this then i will measure two inches downward from that point i just marked i'll measure two inches downwards go ahead and measure two inches then i will connect it slant i will connect the points together like this i will go ahead and connect this line like this then i will come to the center back the side that is going to be saved as this back i will i'll come down by half inch i will connect a slat line from the center front to the center back like this so i'm going to go ahead and uh, extend the line at the front this point i will extend it by one inch like this so go ahead and extend it with one inch from that line i just extended i will come down by three and a half inch this depends on how wide you want your collar to be so for the back side i will come down by two and a half inch i will connect a slant line like this so i will connect the straight line at the front i will connect a straight line at the front like this 
once i was done so this is going to be serving as the color this particular one why the upper one this small one will be serving as the lapel is it lapel as in you understand it better so what i'm going to be doing that is to give this color the design that i want so this the design of this color i want it to have like curve or i just want to have one kind of design you know stuff like that so i'm just going to go ahead and draw the kind of curve that i want using my just watch out how i am doing this you can also go ahead and leave yours like that just go ahead and curve it like this then leave the rest like that okay if you want to so i'm just going to give it a can you see the design i created once i was done i'll go ahead and cut it out like this So once I was done cutting it, I will cut this part, this part out, then I will divide it into two. So right now, this is going to be the, the big one is going to be the color, the small one is going to be the lapel. I will go ahead and fold my uh, fabric into two. This is chiffon fabric. After folding it into two, I went ahead to fold it into two again. So I'm just going to go ahead. I will go ahead and place my pattern paper on it like this. Then I will pin it down. So if you take note, you are going to see that the center front is closed. Okay. While the center back is open, I will just trim the center back like this. I will go ahead and remove the pin and open it up. So this is going to be two piece, two long piece. Okay. So you are going to be cutting two long piece like this. While for this big one, I'm going to be cutting four pieces. So I've gone ahead to fold it into two. Then I went ahead to fold it into two again. So after doing that, I'll go ahead and place my place the color on it. I will pin it down. Then I will cut it out. I'm not going to be cutting it the way I cut the lapel or the small one. You remember the small one? I went ahead to cut it into two. Then I divided the this big one. I'll go ahead and cut it into four. That means I'm going to be trimming the front, trimming the back. Then I'll go ahead and trim it out like this. At the end of the day, we have four pieces. So I'll go ahead and remove the pattern paper, then I will open it up. So I'm this is how it's going to look like. Okay, four piece, one for the lining, one for the main fabric. So this is chiffon material white. So I'll go ahead and sew it like this. I'll take it to the same machine now. Sew it like this, and like this, and like this. So I'll also sew this point like this. Sew it like this again. I'll sew it like this and end it here. So I will not sew this up here like this. So before I sew it, I'll go ahead and pin it down using my office pin to avoid shifting and all that. So go ahead and pin it down. So I've gone ahead to sew it. This is how it look like. I've gone ahead to sew it. The next thing now is to go ahead and notch it because I'm about to turn it out and iron it. So before turning it, go ahead and cut out all these excesses because it knows chiffon is transparent. So you don't want that to be showing on your, on your neckline so i'll go ahead and turn it out like this after turning it i'll go ahead and iron it this is the design it's going to have i will just go ahead and iron it so this is the first time i'm creating something like this so it's not compulsory must do yours like this just create any design of your choice so i've gone ahead to iron it out this is how it look like this is how beautiful it is so once i was done i went ahead to iron the lapel as well i went ahead to iron half an inch inward on the down that is the down side of it i went ahead to iron half inch inward like this so i'm going to go ahead and fold it into two and notch the center like this so once i was done notching the center we'll open it you are going to see that the right side is the part facing the up so i'll go ahead and place the two colors on it i'll place it on the middle where i notch so this is the center front of the two color i will place it like this on the uh, lapel then we bring this other lapel i want to cover it up like this you you are going to see that the rough side the side that i folded in is the side facing the upper side okay like this while the down one is the right side that is facing the upper side so i'll go ahead and pin it using my office pin i'll go ahead and sew it like this and sew the sides like this so guys i've gone ahead to sew it this is how it look like i've already gone ahead to sew it so this is how it look like so the next thing now is for me to go ahead and iron it okay so i'll go ahead and iron it so once i was done ironing it this is how it look like so i'm going to go ahead i already notched the center of my gown before i'll just go ahead and open up the zip there the center where i notch i'm just going to go ahead and fold it again and notch it okay so you guys will understand 
I will place the center, this place there, notch to the center on the to the center on the akara. So this is how I am placing it. I will place the right side at the back of the ankara. That is the right side is going to be at the back like this. So that means when I'm done sewing it, the back is going to be neat. The front of the ankara is going to be rough. So I will place it on the back like this. So I'm just going to pin it to the right side and also to the left side. That is from the center front to the back. I'll go ahead and take it to the sewing machine and sew it from the starting here. I will sew it with half an inch. I will sew it through the line that I marked that I ironed. So once I was done sewing it, you are going to see that the back is so neat. You can see how neat the back is and the front is rough. So that is how it's going to look like once I done sewing it. Then once I was done with that, I will then go ahead and uh place i will just go ahead and choke the zipper that is this zip i'll go ahead and place it inside okay so i'll also go ahead and cut out the excess like this then once i was done cutting out the excess i will choke it inside i will choke inside the this like this i hope you guys understand after choking it inside i'll use my scissors to like just arrange it i'll go ahead and use my office pin and pin it so i will now go ahead and use the this front side to cover my fabric like this so the roughness is going to be inside i'll just go ahead and cover it like this and pin it please if you have any question feel free to ask me in the comment section if you do not understand if you do not understand what i'm saying please watch out what i'm doing you will understand so once so once i was opening it i will take it to the same machine and sew it with half an inch i'll go ahead and sew it at the edge like this from the start to the end i'll just go ahead and sew it so this is me sewing it just go ahead and sew it at the edge like this just go ahead and sew it so if you are yet to subscribe go ahead and subscribe leave your comment and like this video so once i was just sewing it i went ahead to zip up the zip and this is how it look like can you see how beautiful this is the next thing now is to go ahead and attach the peplum sleeve on it so i'm just going to go ahead and attach my sleeve on it go ahead and fold it into two we'll just go ahead and notch it for the sake of those that are beginners so from that point that i notch i will place it on the middle that is the shoulder we'll just place it like this and i'll go ahead and pin it to the left and also to the right after pinning it i'll go ahead and sew it with half an inch so just go ahead and fix it just like the same way you fix your sleeves so i hope that is very easy i will just go ahead and sew it with half an inch or the two sleeves so i've gone ahead to sew it this is how it look like this is how beautiful and cute it is so guys we come to the end of today's video this is the dress up here hope you learned a lot if you watch me from the start to this extent and you've not like you've not subscribed why are you doing this to me you are breaking my heart so please do what to like and leave your favorite emoji or your favorite comments at the comment section if you have any question feel free to ask me i will definitely respond to you so what are you waiting for be part of this family see you on my next video i have a lot of tutorials coming up you wouldn't want to miss that right so if you don't want to miss it stay tuned and stay blessed bye